Nearly two years following God revealing to Andy and Leah they should adopt, they brought home their son Nathan. Like most parents, they felt Nathan should have a sibling. So Andy and Leah decided they would enter the adoption process again. They share with me not only how things went differently this time, but the unique perspective that adoptive parents who are believers have about their relationship with our Heavenly Father. We put our names back in. Nathan was um, turned one in December of 10, and we put our names back in the first weekend of April of 11. And in our minds, Nathan's process took a year and five days from start to finish. Like, okay, great, this will be good by the time he's a year, year and a half, two, somewhere along, or by the time he's two, two and a half, um, we'll have another one. Perfect. Um, so um, we put our names back in the first week of April, and God decided quite differently. Um, and nine days after we put our name back in, our agency calls and says, we have a birth mom who's picked you, and she's having a little girl. And from that phone call, Nine days later, Anna was born. <laughs> Nine days. We had a 16-month-old in the house who was a boy, and we had nine days to prepare for a newborn little girl to join our family. Mm -hmm. Her birth parents had been calling the agency multiple times, um, but never willing to leave contact information. And so the agency never had a way of staying in contact with her birth parents. Um, and it wasn't until our profile was on the website that they called the agency and said, we've picked a family. Here's where we want our little girl to go. And we're like, we needed an extra crib because Nathan was not out of a crib yet. Um, we needed girl clothes. We, uh, and we needed it was, a name? We didn't we, know. Yeah, I mean, we, it was, <laughs> we needed everything. We weren't anticipating it coming that quickly. Had we not taken that step of faith, and said, okay, we don't know what's gonna happen, um, but we're gonna do it. Had we not done that, then we wouldn't have had our little girl. And you know, it, it's just how God worked in both stories ha is, it's incredible. You know, they weren't physically born of us, but um, it has been really cool to see that whole, you know, nature versus nurture type of thing. And yes, there are things about the kids and about their physical traits that can't even remotely be attributed to us in no way, shape or form. And they'll always have that. There will always be those differences. Um, but it has been crazy to see um, how um, Anna is your little mini me and Nathan is mine um, and just, you know, their personalities and how, um, you know, how God is just, I mean, there's no question that God put us together the way he did for a purpose and for a reason and that these kids are our kids. Mm -hmm. It, this is a loving choice mm -hmm. that they, they wanted you to come into this world. They knew they weren't ready to have kids and so they wanted to give you a family and, and so they understand that, that it wasn't that they weren't wanted, it's that they're, they're loved very much by their birth parents. It's hard to put into words um, the, the insight that you have as an adoptive parent to the way that God loves us. Um, because we, as God's children, are adopted into His family. And so, you know, we see it as a, you know, as a blessing, as a unique, slight, um, you know, look into how you know, how God loves us. And so to be able to convey that then to our kids of how much God loves them, um, because they have, it's part of their story that they have, um, you know, evidence in their life of being loved with a truly unconditional love. When Nathan was about two and a half months old, we got paperwork in the mail from our attorney. And I mean, we're talking like big stacks of paperwork and it was all the medical records um, from his birth mom, from the pregnancy and from her medical records and that sort of stuff. And I was sitting on the couch flipping through them and I get to this page and I stop and I said, Andy, you've got to come look at this. He looks at me and goes, no, just tell me what it is. <laughs> I was like, no, you've got to come see this. And so he came and sat down on the couch beside me and we were looking and staring at this paper in disbelief because what it was, was that it was the record of her um, first ultrasound when she was 
um, seeing Nathan for the first time when she was um, experiencing him in that way for the first time. And when we looked at the date and the timestamp, it was the day and the time that we were at Wrigley Field, um, that we had gotten the call that we had lost that first adoption. And just to be able to see how God worked behind the scenes, that God was already working in the middle of our grief. Because of that, and because of that's how he pulled things together, it was, it was a beautiful journey. Nathan and Anna are now seven and six years old, respectively. Nathan is almost eight. And just like parents who had children naturally, they share a common perspective with adoptive parents. The efforts and tribulations of raising a child are overshadowed by every moment of joy that child brings. If you'd like more information on adoption, contact us right here at TV44.